All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Necroid Reanimators. I'm your host, Colors Fade. Yes, it's episode 21. I said I wasn't going to go on after the end of last episode, but I think you all know me by now. I hate to lose. I really hate losing. So I thought it might be a good idea to push this and see what can happen. Partially because this is the mega shipyard, and we were smart and put a planetary shield generator on this thing and we also have a dread encampment which creates this army so we're at 2730 now they're bombarding us um but <laughs> there is a chance for us to rescue this maybe over here we have a fleet that's 314,000 and my concern is they're going to get very close to the home world here with the 588,000 feet. So these are all my disaster armadas that, that got beat up and then um, come up here. And what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking a lot of things about how to wrestle with this. There is a, there's fleets back here, but there's no gateway here. And then up here, there is a gateway close by with Yabna here um, so what I'm thinking is if I can get my fleets up there uh, if I can get fleets over there and there's a shard grand dragon if I get a bunch of fleets over there and get them refitted maybe we can get enough to jump down here and take these clods out of here and hold the mega shipyard because if you can hold the mega shipyard you might have a chance um, so this is what I'm going to do, is take everybody and move them up here. And I'm going to take all of these guys and move them up here. These are just Federation ships, they're nobodies. Uh, the Grand Dragon. So, we're going to give it a shot. I don't, I don't particularly have any strong feelings about this turning out well or anything, but... New ship. So we're going to go there. And let's see, what I want to do is take a look at my shipyards and see who's building anything. Nobody's building anything. So, um, here, I do have 41k. And my thought process is, we need to build as many of these penetration ships as possible. These shipyards take too long to build battleships. But maybe if we build some Corvette Swarm type of fleets. How long does it take for them to build a cruiser? Let's see. How long would it take? Let's just roll all the way down the bottom. How long would it take to build that cruiser? The cruiser is going to take... What? I don't know. It's way off in the queue. Okay, let's see. Does it say base, empire, base, empire, ship size, hull size, power, fast and light capability? capability it doesn't really say okay so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of stuff here um, admin capacity isn't really important food from jobs might be and we're just gonna contact establish with the new Gwezibor Khanate oh we've made contact with the rowdy group of Gwezibor pirates that's right so we were trying to get some pirates to go into their space and harass them, but I think we have bigger problems right now. So the Vorsham shipyard is down there, and it's also in this position. We could just ask it, hey, start creating ships. Uh, and then Vi Valum, which is also close by. And then the mega shipyard we can't because they're right in that system now. What you could do is you could say create 20 battleships. But I don't think 20 battleships are going to do anything but make... They might be able to make a dent in this thing, but then they're all wiped out and you've destroyed a whole bunch of alloys for no reason. So I think uh, we have to try to go capture that, but... Aggressive stance. What are you bozos doing over there? Yeah. Okay, so we'll get everybody moved up here. We'll merge some fleets. We'll get some people retrofitted. And we'll see what we can do. I still don't have a lot of faith 
in any of this. Yeah, I don't have any faith in any of this thing happening here, but... The other thing we'll want to do is make sure that... Uh, is that uh, we'll get construction ships continuing to construct where we can. Because we need to be grabbing as many resources as possible with what influence we have, which is 265. So let's see down here. Is there anything down here that you guys are not doing? Okay, what about you? You got no orders. You should grab that. There's some, there's some nice stuff there on Seoul. So, wait a minute. Go here first, then. So, we'll see what we can do. It's not promising, obviously. They had to show up in our back door. In our backyard. And that's kind of horrific. No orders. Why don't you guys try to move up here? We did kind of smartly put a lot of defensive capabilities, which might... That's really the only reason I'm even giving this a shot. Is because we used a whole bunch of defensive capabilities. And... Um, you know, we put tons of planetary shields down. We put the the encampments down where they make undead armies. So our planets are pretty relatively well shielded. Like Cybrix Alpha, we made sure to do it on the ring world and all that. So we do have some defensive capabilities with these people. It's just a matter of can we get enough shipyards. Um, and for instance, we've got a lot of starbase capacity, but we'd have to spend alloys to get them up and running. So that's still... That's one of those things, you know. Where else in the galaxy would be safe from these bozos? I don't think there is anywhere. So we need to try to reclaim that as fast as we can. And that's really what it's going to come down to. Station is under attack. Yeah, and that's gonna keep happening everywhere. Sakakas, yeah. A mining station has been lost. Yeah, because you're gonna keep losing stuff, and that may be real. What are we losing here? We're losing exotic gases. We're losing some of those. So. So let's a take a look at what we can do. You guys moving? What are you doing? Oh, you're building right there. You're building. And what are you doing? You're moving? Okay. Yeah. So that. Get up there. So what's it look like here? We got shipyards. Night birth shipyard. Way down there. Okay, let's try to upgrade you. You don't have a gateway, so that poses a problem. On the one hand, it's kind of good, because is there anywhere easy for them to get down here? Is there any easy way? No, just there. There's a gateway there. So this may end up being kind of a refuge for us. So here's a case of this. <laughs> This could be last ditch effort place kind of deal. Is this this area down here? Although look, there's yeah, there's unbidden there, so it's not like they're super far away. Those guys came from somewhere. The unbidden are one of those ones where if you just don't get it at it under control really fast, you're kind of doomed. Yabana is building a lot of Corvettes. You can see how fast it can build them. So. Inbound communicate. Inbound communicate. Kind of do what you can to make a fleet here. Migration treaties. Guys, we have a big problem here, and it's 
Like, what do we have here? We have one fleet, <laughs> 147,000. I mean, that's that's just not going to be enough. So, inbound communicate. So, by Valum Shipyard. You can keep making ships here. Um, and then they have to move all the way up here. That's 14k. Move up there. If we can keep cranking those out, that would be the big thing. A space port is the second. Where's this at? Right there. How big is that fleet? See, some of their fleets get smaller over time. They kind of spread out and stuff like that. So that's the big one here. And we just got to keep an eye on this. 14% devastation. Armies are at 27. So it's just a matter of how fast can we do this. How fast can we do it? We're going to need some of the big boys, whether we want to admit that or not. Um, let's take a look at this fleet here. So this has, this has various cruisers in here and things of that nature. And uh, we have to get these all upgraded to the penetrators because Frigate class, get that out of here. Oh, brother. Okay, so these cruiser K classes, there's none in there, so just get rid of them. And then the point defense ones are all gone. Let's get rid of those. This puts its fleet command pretty high. It's got Titan U classes. This is three to two. Command limit not. High enough, I know. I don't want to add any more Titans there. Because if you do that, you get what? 1470. Okay. 9,000 to reinforce the fleet, but I need to upgrade first. So let's see. They can all get upgraded. Um, shield hit points is kind of huge right now. Earning 1k, that's nice. We need that. Let's see what our edicts are like. Ammunition and explosives, we're going to want those. World power's not on. Grand fleet's not on. Monthly mineral needs to be on. Star base upgrade speed, star grace. Defense platform speed, yes. Desperate measures, yes. Science, yes. Okay. Now, oh, what else? Fleet supremacy, yeah. Fortify the border. Is okay, but it's not great. And what's our policies for war? Unrestricted wars, that's not what I want. This rapid deployment is ship weapon range 10% or home territory fire rate. That's what we like. Defense in depth, we need that. Ship fire rate plus 33%. Oh, I should have gone for that. No retreat. Dang it. Okay. All right. I played. What are you doing? What are you building here, buddy? Let's build these things. Yep. So we we'll give it we we'll give it the good old college try, right? The good Inbound old college try. We'll get drunk, pass Inbound out. Communicate. We'll get drunk, spin around, and pass out. Let's see, relics. This will give us activate for 150. Society research don't care about this one. Activate for 150. 10,000, and it gives us a bunch of... A bunch of those. A bunch of alloys. 
so that's good. Cybrix Alpha. That's the ring worlds. Our home world. Oh, so you guys, you need to move. Um, don't, no, 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 don't go over there. No, 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 okay, here. Go this way, no, 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 no. Okay, here, I'll do this, I'll spell this out for you. So that you won't be complete and utter dummies like this, you guys. You're not getting away easily, are you? Jeez, you gotta go all the way around. Okay, well, that's what it takes. Yeah, how big is this fleet? 57, so that's big and scary. A research station has passed beyond. <laughs> has passed beyond. So Vorsham's not going to do anything anymore because these guys are about to move into it, maybe. No, they're moving towards Vako's Curse. They want to come for our home world. A study has been completed. Ships. Okay, let's see. Somber Armada. Well, reinforce that fleet, will you? Oh, no, 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 not the ones at Mega Shipyard, though. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. What's Mega Shipyard making? Battleships. No, no, no. Don't. That's the one thing we can't do. That would be dumb. Those guys would get absolutely roasted, so. We don't want that to happen. I need to create some ships that have a... Uh, Because we're not really using kinetics. We're using punchers. So, nothing else. Let's see. Let's take a look at our ships here. Um, what could we use? Like this one. That's, a, that's the puncher, and he's going to do what? He's going to stay at 80 and try to shoot at range. Which is good. So what else do you have? You got one missile one there. And two missile ones there. You get these guys flying up close and getting shot at and they're just gonna be it's gonna be bad. So this thing can put missiles on it if you wanted to do it this way. What what kind of missiles? Devastator torpedo. It does what? 275 to 445 damage. Tracking is 10%, which is really bad. Hole damage. That's the one you'd want, Marauder Missiles. Because it does bonus to hull damage. And then you give the puncher. And you say... Shields, energy. Oh, CBG, you. In case you want to make some more of those, because the pens are like that. So the cruiser doesn't really have. That doesn't have any missiles on it. Neither does that. What about the battleship? You'd want to leave the spinal mount on there. Besides, they don't have any missile ones anyways. So what is this? Yeah, no missile ones there. So if you wanted to do any more missiles, you'd need a cruiser. And you'd have to say do this. And do this. And leave that. And, I mean, you'd do this. So... This thing, this thing's gonna get chewed up and spit out. So you do that, give it reactive booster, and it's so too much, and you say, hey, give me neutronium armor. Uh, 
That's a decent ship. That's gonna get absolutely wasted because it has no evasion. Because you have to say, what's the other thing? You have to say it for, what's it gonna do? Medium range, so how far can these things do? What's their range? 100, and these things are at 30. So you shoot these from long range. You could, they have tracking 25 and a range of 100. Yeah, so leave them there. Let's see if they'll work. Let's see if we can build a few of them. I got the Grand Dragon. I got a fleet of 138,000. I need more fleets. And that's just... That's just the maths, man. You just need more. This thing here. Okay, it's still building. That's why. Is Vival still building any more ships? No. So let's have it build some of these cruiser Jeeps. 86 days. Okay, hold on. I got one, two, three, four, five slots. I got five star. Okay, let's build those. Oh, we're short on volatile moats now. Pegora! Oh, and you got some cramming going on. That's right, you still have cramming going on in this place. I knew I had one planet like this. Let's see. Let's give you a piece of cows. Okay, this. This is dumb here. Let's do that. On Peggle. Peggle, and then let's, uh... In martial law? Not yet. This world. I don't have any more room for growth, man. Got a bunch of worlds here that are going to be hard to do anything on. Ring C. Make sure all of these. <laughs> well, they got defense armies. 1800. You guys need to keep spawning those, will you? Let's see. And we're gonna have some problems with some of those guys. Bring this one. This one's the one that needs some jobs. Okay, it doesn't have enough happy people. Oh, and it's also this is terminal egress. Oh goodness. So you need stuff. Dread encampment. Vessels have been refitted. Planetary shield generator. Can we get stuff built? A study has been completed. Crumbling burrow loss. Bombarded the surface and feasted on all life forms below. The moon's entire biosphere was consumed by creatures. Oh no. Oh no. That's sad. Ruinous core. Lost encampment. Where was Crumbling Burrow? Over here. Decayed hub. <gasps> there it is. Oh, it's a barren world now. Oh, well, we're probably definitely not going to live through this then. Um, yeah. Uh. Construction venture completed. What are you doing there? Transport fleet? Construction venture completed. Land here. You're not gonna not doing anybody any good there. Oh, that's tough. They ate everything. Oh man. Well, if they do that to the mega shipyard, it's 28% devastation. If they do that there, then we're probably doing subterranean expansion. Yeah, we have to get the shipyard back. Six thousand. 600,000, I mean. It's just a lot. So. A research station has passed the Alpha. What's this ship here doing? It's still building. It's building battleships now, so. It's starting to build some of those. That's good. Because that's how you're going to get your real fleet powers from Alpha Strike ability. Okay, this is done. Hmm, what do you want them to keep building here? 
let's keep that up. How big is this fleet? It's not big, it's 26. We might be able to still keep building a fleet here. These guys haven't moved off of there. They're bombarding Bellonis, of course. Which has 1,500. So. It's tough. You know, you're looking at this and saying, hey, what do I, what do, I do? Keep building stuff. Keep building and hoping, you know. That's a lot of what you're doing, is just building and hoping. This fleet's 148. Outpost rebuilt. Hey, you guys are moving over there. Good job. Okay, you've got some ships, and there's a ship now moving. He's moving over in that direction. He's going to be one away. So I think the smart thing to do is jump everybody to right there. He's one away, and he's 218,000. So he's coming to get you guys, probably. Fleet has been gravely defeated. Where? What? One battleship in the Hymera system? Which system was that in? In the Herma system. Fine. Herma. Which system was that? Over there. Why was there even a battleship over there by itself? Oh well. We're moving these guys up here. Moving on now. To Inbound the top. Okay, you guys, you moved over there. You can save yourself a lot of time by jumping over here. A study. Troop transport fleet, come over here to Yabnar. Not Grobnar, Yabnar. Actually, I need to go right here. Right there. Okay, Grobnar. What are you guys doing? Did we land here. What do we have? Where's this guy? Yeah, McBon. Yeah, right there. That's a fleet of 739,000. That's a lot. So, if we go take back Mega Shipyard, we might have a chance. Decayed hub lost. That's that hurts. Oh, and now we're down at minus one. Oh, look, our numbers just went kaplooey because of all the stuff we lost. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot. So, wow, those planets they went after our racket planets, our ket ketlings, and uh. That hurts a whole bunch, so. Hmm. I mean, that's gonna chew through our stuff really quick. Really fast. The Grand Dragon. So I'll assign the leader over here. A study has been completed. Okay. Well, that's this is so hard to fix now. Because of the minerals we lost and everything, it's just that's brutal. That's brutal. Really, really brutal. What is this planet? Oh, Volunus is getting devastated. We're about to lose it. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's... What do we have here? This and the Grand Dragon and these guys. 
What's this fleet here? Somber Armada. What's it saying? Somber Armada is saying it's short. Oh, it's over. It's overstaffed. Right now it's at 216. Right. Okay. So if you did that. And did that and said, yeah, reinforce us. Build those things. Like, I need 700k worth of fleet power to be able to come down here to make a shipyard and, and stomp these guys and then hold it. But even then, you're going to lose so much stuff that so many resources that I don't think it matters. You know, can, I mean, this is really hard because you're losing a lot of resources now. We have planets down here that we can colonize, sure. Uh,. And we might want to do that as soon as possible, like right here. Uh, let's do this. But you're going to be so far behind on colonization. It's an Arctic world. Arctic world. Necrosis. So even if you can do that and start to pick up some of these planets, this is a Tundra one. Even if there's devastation on that planet because of rifts, oh, well, we still need to colonize. So you do that and give yourself some planets down here. Yeah, some nice physics research here. That's cool. Do it before you run out of these things. Before you run out of those resources because once you run out of those resources then colonizing anything else is going to be bad it's not going to happen so arid world all right so there's a bunch of people that are going to get colonized hopefully hopefully it's uh this ship here down here that's doing the work no this ship here down here that's doing work? No. Where's... Don't tell me that the game was dumb and Mega Shipyard. No. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. The, the game... <laughs> oh, colony ship. You know what? We're just going to put you. You guys will figure it out. Alright. That's unfortunately. That's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, normally I want the mega ship here doing stuff, but right now I don't. So, uh, is there any way to turn it off and say don't? There's no way. There's no way to turn the shipyard off and say don't build from here. Um, so that's... Unfortunate, and it's unfortunate that the game is a little smarter when you're down here on these planets saying let's call those those that it isn't using the shipyard here. You know, we had to do all these manually. I mean, this is it's kind of silly. Okay, you go get this. You go get that. And then when you're done, go get this. Because there's crystals over there. So. What's this? Inbound. It's a battleship. I want you up here then. Volanus is lost. That was one of our original planets. So that. And that just took a huge chunk out of our money and you can see the food loss so so even though we may be able to get some ships together for this our problem is going to be resources we're not going to get we're not going to have the resources we need Inbound, and that's going to make it really really hard because pretty soon we're going to be able it's going to stop making alloys so 
and then our effectiveness goes down when we don't have any money, which is a real bummer. So we have, we have to make some moves pretty quick here. If we want to have any chance, we have to make some moves pretty quick. The inability of some local spiritual leaders in Mega Shipyard to even begin to calm the rampant unrest in the colony has led to the populace taking a more rational view of the material realm that they inhibit. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? Still building ships. Building a bunch of them. So, somber armor. Yabana. Yabana. Okay, what do we have here? You guys. Not In somber. Let's see. It's fifth battle group. You're out. Hold on. What am I doing here? You guys can all combine. Um, 12k for those. Wow. We might be better off buying minerals. And giving ourselves a little bit longer to, to make alloys. Food from jobs. That's... Energy weapon damage. Energy weapon attack speed. Okay, what are we looking at here? 177. Okay. This is the Sarkalis Gate Fleet, which is no longer protecting that gate. It's got bigger things to do. 230 of 230, it says. Okay, let's. Construction Except I gotta. Yeah, Mega Shipyard tried to make all of those. Unur is lost. Oh no, hey, stop. Okay, okay I can't get to the mega ship yard from there. Alright. So, I can't do this. I can't do that at all. Game isn't smart enough to know. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, Vorshim Station, what's it building? Yeah, that's, um, don't do that either. Rumium station and colony ship. Good. Okay. He's going to colonize. So you need one of you guys going to colonize. This? Another ship is performing that function. Colonize plant. Okay. Now the ship is performing a function. Uh, it's alright then. Just need them all colonized. That's the important thing. And do we have anybody over here that's idle? Colonizing, colonizing, colonizing. No orders from you. Go over here and get this one. Oh. Being done by another, I think. Curveball. All right, all right, curveball. Outpost rebuilt in the two bond system. Mescabon. Yeah, this is ugly. Minerals for mining, yeah, that'd be good. What is this? Necrophyte shortages, the falling planets are running low on eligible pops. Uh, let's take this and place it with the planetary shield generator. <laughs> yeah. So you can see how quickly this got out of hand. I mean, it was nice to come in here and, and try this, I think, but realistically, what were the odds of being able to come back and do this? I, I just want to play this long enough to be able to send these fleets down here and get smoked at the mega shipyard. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Where at? Right there at terminal egress. Yeah, there. 
taking that over. So let's see what this. <laughs> let's see what these fleets can do when they're up. Okay, I got two thirty and. Uh, Establishing. I don't know that. It, 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 Yabinar. Okay, so it's doing it at Yabinar. All right. I'm gonna quit using that button. So this can give me 169. Yeah, it's not enough. 149. That's 300,000. Even with bleak armada. Even with the shard dragon. That's not enough. So. It's a... Uh, it's interesting to see how far we fell behind immediately. I mean, 471. That's just... That's kind of crushing, right? It's just really crushing. So... Construction the artisan troop gets blown up. No. Like, even if we could go down there and get Mega Shipyard and hold it you're gonna be so strapped for resources here really quickly that you're not gonna have an empire at all so how do you you know you need to be able to fight back you need to be able to wipe out their numbers you don't need to be able to just go down here and take one thing and hold it you have to actually be able to kill all of these fleets and to do that we'd need fleets of a size of about a million to be able to sustain themselves so you'd need fleets with 800,000 to a million in power and a juggernaut to keep them healed. And then... Uh, <laughs> that's just... They're absurd numbers, so... Oh, and look. We're, we're taking serious... Oh, wow. Okay, look at that. Minus 39 for gases. Yeah, your whole empire is crippled now. The whole empire is crippled. All we have left is uh, what little bit of alloys we can make. We're just going to make alloys until, until we run out. Which won't be too long. So. Tough tough day here. Oh, and it, what's it say? Lacking. Oh, we don't have gases to make these things anymore. We don't have gases. Inbound we can't make any more ships. We're done. Alright, so we'll make the ships that we have and then uh, Establishing and then we'll move. That's tough. It's a tough way to go out. Um, but I learned a lot about when the crisis actually shows up and what it means in that configuration setting. Inbound Start of the end game. That year is really important and I would say set it to 2450 <laughs> so that you have an extra 50 years of time there for sure that you might not have thought you were going to get before. How quickly the unbidden can come in here and just cripple your empire. And and are they crippling anybody else? Or is it just us? It's just us. It's just us. <laughs> they just came after us. Everybody else is going to be fine. <laughs> the irony. That just... Oh. A surprise catch. Don't care. We're getting smoked. So... Yeah. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Yeah, you're getting smoked too, buddy. I'm sure everybody in the galaxy is like, hey look. Those guys over there who were really strong, yeah, they're they're getting smoked now. Minus eighty three on these resources, that's when you lose your core planets like that, that really hurts. Terminal egress is lost. Uh, I don't think you're stopping these monsters. I know you're saying that, but you're not gonna so we can jump through the gate and come down here and try to hold this I, we don't have enough ships though look 
Even if you could come down there and blow that up at 605. Look what's behind it. Another 600 right here. Um, do, do you try to come down here and take on these one at a time? I don't think so. You could come through this gate, Faco's Curse, and try to take these guys. That might be the thing to do. They'll give us one victory before silver. So, how many more ships do we have? To make. Because we're going to make the ships that we have, and then we're going to get out of here. Three, four, two, one. Battleships. Okay, we're down these last guys. Uh, and we got the shard dragon at 115. I think just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's kind of this bleak. Armada. Oh, I know. Okay, you guys can join. That'd be great. 62. That's not much. A couple more battleships ain't gonna do it, and we don't have any more gases, so. We could go in here and we could buy a bunch of gases. Buy like that many gases. Unur is lost. So here we could go in there and say, make a bunch more of these guys. I don't know how many we have to make, but. Let's try that. Inbound communicate. I mean, if you're going to go all out, you might as well go all out, right? Just going to finish off these battleships, and then it's going to be able to crank out a bunch of corvettes really, really fast. Which would be nice. Zura Corp has been destroyed. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Where are they appearing at? Because if they start to get close to... Oh, they're way up here. Terminal egress. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Not important. Yeah, I think jumping through Vako's Curse and killing these guys would give me a boost. Then there's a 573 one right there, and they'll, they'll be the ones that'll wipe us out. So. Hey, there's... Look at those. There's a mining world here. Nice. Doing. Still making ships. Ruined Mega Art Installation restored. Inbound communicate. Well, how nice is that? Inbound communicate. Inbound communicate. Okay, fifth battle group. So there's potentially three fleets. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Hostile. Oh, you got it. Yeah. It's, it's hardcore, man. It's hardcore. A new colony. The unbidden. Just. A hostile fleet has bring in the pain. Two been lost. Oh my gosh, we're just. <laughs> they're crushing us. They're crushing us. Oh my gosh, they're just slamming us. Okay, how how does Mega Ship here look? How is it? They're still beating on this thing, and it's at 92% now. We have to make a move. Okay, boys and girls, we have to make a move. We're gonna lose the Mega Ship here, and then we're done. So, here's what we're gonna do. Everybody's going to go over here. It's this gateway. We're going to make a move on the mega ship here. I'd like to come down here and protect my home world. It would be nice to get these guys, but I have a feeling that these dudes would smoke us. Completed. How's Vako's Curse coming out? Helium Prime. It's at 8%, so let's go make a run for the mega shipyard. It'll be uh, going down in a blaze of glory take me now I'll know the truth oh and then uh, hey, we still have one more thing left ascension perk 
Defender of the Galaxy, damage to end game crisis functions. <laughs> hey, I don't know how much that'll help, but. Alright. Mega Shipyard, you guys ready? Let's go show them what we're made of. Paper mache. Paper tiger. Belligerent fleet. Hey, would you look at that? Mega shipyard. All right. Well, that doesn't really help us against the rest of the galaxy. But... Oh my gosh. Establishing okay, let's see, Mega Shipyard. <laughs> I need one construction ship for that dark matter. Um, yeah, you 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 managed to survive. Bleak Armada says, "Hey, uh, we need some ships." Yeah. Okay, what do we have? We have no moats. Let's buy some moats. Buy some crystals. It's not going to get us out of trouble anytime soon, but we're going to have to stop selling those. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. We gotta stop selling you guys. Cancel, remove. Ah! It's <laughs> okay. Magnetic miracle. Mm -hmm. All right. Bleak armada. Well, you guys did pretty good. You made it this far. No, 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 no. No, 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 you turkeys. I want you all just go here. Enter orbit around Mega Shipyard and get healed up, will you? Okay. So, re reinforce your fleet for all my. All my goods. Yeah, I know. It's, we're gonna be hurt. It's life. The Mega Shipyard, oh my gosh. Yeah, we killed, we killed one of their fleets. It doesn't mean much, but these guys are going to come over here and squash us. Kind of cool, though. Got one of their fleets. I mean, what was the... Oh, that was somewhere else. I wanted to see the other ones. That's okay. Oh my gosh, there's 90 trade over there that we can't get. And these guys just keep swarming along. It's like, ah, come on, dudes. Up here. Oh, look at our numbers. Our numbers are so bad now that there's there, there's no more. There's nothing else you can do now. You're kind of like stuck with these ships. Like what you what you have is what you get. You have to make a run with these guys. So that's kind of hard. You're looking at it and you're saying, well, This is all we got. So why don't we jump through Vako's curse? Go put those guys up. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. I mean, we might as well just fight to the death now. They're taking so many of our planets that... There's no getting them back, man. There's no getting those systems back. Helium Prime. Get these suckers. Inbound communicate. Well. Hey, I need a science ship right there. Do I have one close by? I got you. You can't get over there though. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Can you get to Hmm. 
This guy's coming up through here. How big is he? 459. Because Vakos Curse doesn't have. Stop. Stop it. I need to see. Where's the. Oh, there is no shipyard there, is there? There's just a gateway. Okay. Um, in that case. You should go to there. And then we'll jump you over. Baco's Curse. Hmm. How do you guys feel? You think. You can be able to join some forces here. You and the Grand Dragon. You guys want to come around here and. Take this guy. Outpost rebuilt. So I have some ships down here. And stuff. Can I build the types? What? What? Why not? Hey, there's a bunch of minerals up here. Why can't you do that? Because we don't. <laughs> oh, because we're in the hole. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta have money to make money. Okay, build mining station as fast as you can, my friend. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, these crystals will help you, won't they? Build the mining stations. We can worry about the research later. And then uh, come over here and build these too while you're at it. Commit those resources. Oh my gosh. O M G. Baco's curse. You got any air? Ruinous core loss. <laughs> Keep seeing my planets disappear over here. <laughs> Oh, what are you guys doing? You gonna move? All of you gonna move? You gonna get this back? Is this one of their things? Unbidden. Let's go in here. Everybody go in here. No, because their stations, their special stations only have a hit point of one on them. So it's not one of their special stations. And look, here come two big, huge honking fleets coming over here like, Hey, they took that station from us. We're going to crush them. I know you are. Yeah, you guys aren't happy about that, are you? How many stations are there now for the unbidden? Dimensional and anchors active 7. Unbidden killed by us, 166. Unbidden killed by the others, 13. Oh, well. Lost in Camden. Lost. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. It's just so overwhelming. And that's only... That's only 10 times the crisis. That's not even a big one, you know. That's not a significant crisis, really. You know, I did that 25 times that one time, but I, I worked on just being prepared just for that. And, and it looked impossible there for a while. So this was, I would say if you're gonna play on Commodore or lower difficulty that you should not put the crisis over five times. None of your, n nobody else in the galaxy can do anything against this and we're getting our butts kicked, so. All right, let's go kill them. Yeah, how many worlds have they taken from us now? A lot. A lot, for sure. here 
And this giant fleet of people can go back here. Steering clear of belligerents. Get over here and research that project. Research that project. Research that project. Very, very ugly end to the game there. Oh, and they're back on Mega Shipyard. Okay. How big are they? Um, We're going to go by this gateway and then we're going to end the game because I'm pretty sure they're going to wipe us out. So it was interesting while it lasted. <laughs> it was... Oh man, what a way to end the game. Just... Just getting wiped out. So hard to go down like that. Steering clear of belligerents. Falling outpost lost. Those are those are tough things to take. They're just tough losses to take. Tough losses. You know, you can't... Look at these guys. They're just swarming. And they, you know, to swarm in our backyard. And look at everybody else. They're, the rest of the galaxy is just up for grabs. And they said, no, we're going to go after the toughest ones. We're going to get them first. And they did. Oh, here, oh there went a fleet. As these guys are getting ready to go through the gateway. So... Here we go. This is pretty much the end of all our fleets. Yeah. There comes a space monster. Nice. Oh look, all these fleets are really small now. There's not much left. You gotta go in here and say... <laughs> Get rid of the shard dragon. And combine them. A study has been completed. What am I left with? I can almost combine those two fleets, so I'm down to three fleets. Yeah, ugly. Extra dimensional invaders. Yeah, there's no. Here's the thing there's no path out of this now. A science vessel has been destroyed. Yeah, there's no path. There's no path back to victory. So, darn it. Okay, well, I gave it one. I gave it the old college try. Uh, without being drunk, even. Uh, we did our best. I, there's there's no, no path to victory here. I think the odds are less than zero. So, it was valiant. Certainly. Uh, but we'll be choosing um, our startup options a little more carefully from here on out so <laughs> future games I always thought I always thought 2440 was about as early as the crisis would show up so here they are 2411 and the game's over um lesson learned right but pretty cool I really did like this this particular necro species it was fun to get going after a while and I think I'll be playing some necros again in the future and kind of tweaking it a little bit for the way that I want to play which is pretty cool. So, thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Here's this. Consider this bonus episode. I really did think the last episode was the end. It was over, but you know, I'm I'm just really persistent. So, uh, but even I can do the math on what's going on up here, and with us constantly losing planets, and with the number of fleets that they have, and there's no coming back. So, we admit defeat. We move on. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, leave a thumbs up. Leave your questions, comments, drop them down below. Subscribe to the channel. My Patreon is listed in the description below if you feel like throwing a few coins my way. Throw a coin to your Witcher. See you all next time.